hello welcome to my youtube channel all right so in today's video i'll be introducing uh, a new topic on uh, vectors so uh, a vector is a way of describing motion there are so many definitions so i'm trying to make it simple so that it's easier for some of you to understand what a vector is so it's just you can just say uh, is a way of describing motion uh, we know that motion involves some movements isn't it so that's a uh, idea i came up with this definition it's a way of describing motion and this very vector uh, involves or it has magnitude and direction so there are most two uh, important things involved under vectors so in vectors you're going to find that there is magnitude and there is a direction so don't worry we'll talk much or we'll talk more about magnitude direction I know it's very simple somebody knows direction which direction are you going to maybe north south things like that but for magnitude I know it may be difficult for some people I've tried to also I put a very simple definition here what magnitude means magnitude is a fancy way a uh, fancy word of length so the word length if you want to say it in a fancy way you can say it's magnitude so that's a magnitude all right so uh, let me talk a bit about magnitude let's say you've been given uh, a vector in two dimension okay so maybe they say vector v okay is uh, two comma um let me say three comma um nine or three comma three comma four we'll say it's three comma four this is vector v so this vector if they ask you to find its uh, magnitude you're going to say you're going to put something like this so this is the magnitude I'm finding over here So our magnitude here is five. So this is uh, this is simply the the length, okay? Length covered by uh, something. Hopefully it's uh, now clear. Somebody can tell what magnitude is and how it works. So let me try to go through again. A vector is a way of describing uh, motion. It involves or it has both magnitude and direction so this is what makes us understand that we're talking about a vector uh, about a vector these two things magnitude and the direction and magnitude we have said is more like its length it's a fancy weight of length so that's it and then on how to calculate magnitude this is how you find magnitude these symbols absolute value means you're working with the magnitude all right so uh let me try to give more examples on uh on uh on uh, on a uh, on a vector so a vector what we say when we say it involves magnitude or it has magnitude and direction let's say you have uh, you have a gun okay you're standing here somebody's standing here and this person has a gun with him is holding a gun over here and wants to shoot a bird a bird is somewhere here I'll draw this is my bed somewhere here this is where the bed is and this person wants to shoot a bird so what happens here this guy will shoot 
who target the bait and shoot okay is not going to shoot anyhow there will be direction okay and there will be magnitude there will be a distance where this guy is standing somewhere here and here there is a length after that length there is a target okay the direction which direction is this maybe we'll say east north east north this is a direction so uh the vector will involve magnitude or it will have magnitude and direction so there is magnitude the length from where he's standing and where the bed is and the direction where this guy is shooting so the opposite of the vector is a scalar okay scalar this scalar has as 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 uh, as magnitude but it has no direction if this guy was to shoot here in a in a scalar form it could have been is just shooting anyhow no di no direction is just shooting anywhere it can shoot this side he can shoot this side no direction but the bed is here now when it comes to vector there will be target where the direction where this guy is shooting so that's it about it the vector and uh, the scalar mostly the vector so the vector when we say it has magnitude and direction this is what we mean there is a target where uh, uh, this uh, this this guy is shooting and there is a length okay the distance from uh, where he's standing and uh, the target so uh, now uh, I would like us to look at uh, this how to denote denoting of vectors so vectors how do we tell that this is a vector how do we tell that this is a vector let's say this is a, this is v and this is a w so now how can i show the direction and uh, the the vector I'm, 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 I'm talking about so if i want to show the one the one for v over here i will say it has there must be a direction where is the direction where is this vector starting from it's starting from a and where is it going it's going to b so if it's going to be a to b there must be direction so this direction the arrow must be there to show the direction how about this one w it's going downwards if it's going if it's coming from b to a it means uh, the arrow must point it downwards and denoting this I'll say V vector V I'll write B, V with a bar on top is equal to a B and a bar on top you write where it's coming from where is it coming from from a to B even this one I can say W a bar is equal to uh, where it's coming from it's coming from B the arrow is pointing a, a downwards it's coming from B going to a so this is how I can write but if I want I can change this one I can write it like this have you seen over here something has changed here I was starting from where it started where it started which is a and where it stops which is b here i start uh, with the letter where it's ending which is b and uh, i write a letter where it's stopping is starting so this one is starting somewhere from here a so for me to show if i to show that it's this vector actually though i've written I've started with the letter where it's ending and uh, I put the letter where it's starting this side. I have to show by including the negative, this negative. This negative shows that it's the opposite direction. So opposite direction, uh, this and this are the same because they have put a negative. There's no negative. So this one can come this side and negative disappear. It looks like this. Also, this one can be also be written as a b like this so this is how you denote the vectors if you don't want to write them like this 
you can uh, you can use if it's a vector v you can use board board v my, my marker is finishing you can use board v to denote the vector all right so to, for today we're not doing any calculation on vectors i was just introducing so if you can see nicely i've written introduction to vectors this is how uh, we understand or we need to understand we need to know about the vectors whenever you're asked what is a vector you just say it's a it's a way of describing motion and it involves or it has both magnitude and direction and then the magnitude is more like length so if you ask to calculate magnitude this is the way we calculate magnitude and then a vector and a scalar difference between a vector and a scalar scalar has only magnitude here a scalar has only magnitude over here it only has this no direction that's a scalar or is magnitude as the magnitude i mean or is vector as magnitude and the vector so that's it well, now to denote this is how you denote the vectors there is a bar on top and these are not are, are, are not the only ways of denoting you can also use the board letters, small letters. You board them. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe if you have not done so. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, in our next video, I'll be uh, showing you on how to add and subtract vectors. Thank you very much.